Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the new mobile G5, but if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos if you're new, and if you're already a part of the crew, salute. But first we're going to take a look at five reasons why you should pick this device up. But first we're going to take a look at what comes inside of the box. So when you first get the new mobile G5, you are going to be greeted with an all white box. After you take off the sle sleeve, you're going to pull up this tab and it's going to offer you quite a variety of things in here. So what I like is that new mobile starts you off with a lot of things to get you started. So you get some stickers which are included uh, you also do get your charging cable charging brick and a pair of headphones with your sim ejector tool so you're you're pretty much on your way and then not only that they do offer you a, a nice case that comes in the package but honestly you could find this device right now on Amazon and eBay at 149 but on their website at new mobile they do have this device at one 59 but it, it will have tax included so just keep you guys posted on that but the changes on prices always do vary but as you can see this device does have i just powered it on let me enter my pin now one of the things i do notice about this device is it does have a really nice weight to it it does have a really decent amount of weight to this device and i really like that about it it, it feels really good in the hands um and you know, you know, it does feel really solid in your hand when it comes to the weight of this device. So honestly, the 5,000 milliamp hour battery contributes to that. Now along the right hand side of this device, we do have these buttons on the right hand side, which is flush to the phone. So the power button is almost flush inside of the phone, which is really nice. I do like how that feels. It's a, it's a plastic frame. And one of the things you will notice is you will get this message if you were using your new mobile G3, I mean G5 on Cricut, it'll say that this device is not eligible because this device does use 3G bands inside of it. And therefore they say you, they don't want you to use the phone, but you can get this, um, what it is is you can get um, ultra mobile. I'm going to give this away free of charge if you want to try this out but you can use the, this device on ultra mobile and you can use this device on mint mobile as well. So if you want to use any one of those carriers free of charge, just comment down below ultra mobile or mint mobile. But one of the things I do like is the camera setup as well. It's really a really nice camera setup and you got a nice design on the back of this. So it's, Gonna attract some fingerprints as you can see it does gather quite a lot of fingerprints, but It's not even that bad the case actually fits well on this device too So if you put the case on you won't really like notice those as anymore Because you're gonna be dealing with the case after that as far as security goes we do have the fingerprint on the back and also we do have facial recognition on the front which actually unlocks very quickly so I do like the overall build of this device and the weight if it's I thought if I could guess I would say it's about 219 grams of weight just a really nice solid device in your hands and we're gonna get into the cameras gaming performance as well but um, I definitely can say that the build is really nice it's got like this glass material almost feels like a mixture between glass and some type of composite of plastic and but it just looks really beautiful so um, you know I could definitely say that they did a good job when it came to building it also the bottom does give you a headphone jack and it's it's flat right there on the bottom you get your grill your type C which is really cool the, the device will charge at um, I think 10 watts but Overall, you're going to be able to have some really nice solid build on this device and it's going to look really premium. Okay guys, so when it comes to the processor on this device, it is an A25 um, MT6762D um, 12, um, 
a nanometer processing chip. So when you go to the settings right here for graphics, you're basically going to get medium frame rates and you, you can get balanced for PUBG. So let's just play a quick game so I can show you what it looks like. Now we also do get, uh, as well on this device, 4 gigabytes of ROM, um, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of ROM on this device. So with the 5000 milliamp hour battery, it's going to be pretty nice. You also do get a screen protector on here as well. But um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take that off just so I could feel this screen a little bit better when gaming. And we can just keep that in the box if we ever need it again. Alright, so here we go guys. This is what the gameplay looks like on the new mobile G3, G5. The older one is the G3. Let me turn the brightness all the way up so you can see that a little bit better. And turn this up a little bit higher. Oh damn. So the the volume buttons are flush on the phone. I actually really like that. The speakers sound really loud. Um, let me see. Let me see where these guys are coming from, what direction, and then I could figure this out. But overall, this just looks really smooth. Oh man. All right, so these guys are actually experts, I could see. So let's see if we can get a redemption kill. Oh, wow. All right, one more time. But overall, the graphics look really smooth on here. Got one. Got one, though, at least. Let's go get this guy. Oh, that was so close. Now the screen on here looks I like how it comes in a variety of different colors as well. Now, you can see I have an animated wallpaper on here, but stock Android as well is another reason. So the main reasons right now that I would get this is the price and what you get in the box. The build is really nice for it being this um, price. You also do get really good performance. Now let's talk about the uh, cameras and the battery life because those are also some things that I, I really want to mention. Now, on the front of the camera, it's going to be really beautiful on this on this camera. Now, you just take a, a selfie and show you what that looks like. But <clears throat> the cameras on this device, guys, are really good. You get actually. 16 megapixels on the front so when it came to the detail on my face it kind of captured it perfectly like everything looks really realistic and i have a lot of light facing me so the light is going to be pretty decent but you get the super hd camera as well for really good details so i think that's going to be nice because when you're going to take shots it's going to give you um some some nice details here for uh, when you're doing close-up like shots and you also do get a macro camera on this device if you do want to just do a macro close-up shot um, you could be like three centimeters away and it gives you really good detail when you're really like three to four centimeters away and you can see um, that detail looks really nice now, uh, this is probably going to be a really good uh, phone for anybody who actually wants to take a lot of photos and videos. So I'll put some samples up so you can see what that looks like. But you do get night mode, which, which works really good. Uh, you can customize the photos here for the quality AI camera. And you do have portraits for the front and the rear. So you have a portrait mode on here. And it'll blur out the background so like everything that's around you gets blurred out and then when you take a look at the edges you can see it did a pretty decent job with the lighting that I had to offer it did blur out my ear but you know it does work pretty well it's not gonna be choppy or anything it's actually the real bokeh effect with the camera software 
So I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, the battery life on this phone, guys, is going to be excellent two days or more with this device. Um, but and you when you go into the storage, you can get expandable storage face ID for your um, facial recognition so that when you're in the face ID right here, you can see you can turn this on to when it's in a dark environment. But usually it always works. So I don't turn that on. <clears throat> On display, we got a lot of features on here. Dark mode, dark theme, screencast, active wallpaper. If you go to battery, you're gonna have battery saver. And I'm gonna be using this device on Mint Mobile once I switch over from Cricut, which doesn't allow me to use my the new, Mo, new, G3, new G5 anymore because um, they actually changed their network settings. So we're gonna check this out. Um, just a little bit more detail, but overall this device does feel really good in the hand It just has a really nice camera arrangement a really nice um, Feel you can see the facial recognition is really quick right there and um, it's nice, So nice security on here Also the latest software has Android 10 and it's a, a lot comes inside of the box So I definitely think this is a good deal for the price of a less than 150 but let me know down below and I'll get right back with you later group. Peace.